Okay, hi all, welcome to the stream to All Saint Night and uh, in this video we're gonna discuss how Eternal Crusade should have been and uh, in general how to balance asymmetrical games so let's get to it now watching all the promises Miguel the first developer chief developer and uh, made as well as Nathan uh, the second one who tried to save the situation this is exact this is how it should have been exactly what they were promising uh, on how to balance it or how to set it up open world uh, uh, 15 space marines or versus uh, in general coming against the swarm of a wag of 50 orcs and uh, say 20 elder would be around there or 30 AI tyrannid and uh, the marines on the CSM there would be like 15 of it this could be their party this is how it should have been uh, and what they were saying the open worlds the events uh, the scenarios the missions they had to do all this this is how it should have been they and also the, the developers did an excellent job uh, trying to make it the development company and uh, i'm just gonna be referring to the chief ones the miguel and uh, nathan the second one they they went to make it as they were promising And, uh, I mean, they went for it. They didn't uh, say empty promises. They went to it for real. And, uh, they were working on it. Too. They were making it. Now, what went wrong? Not the developing companies. The companies, they were funding them. They just... Uh, and not both the first one I don't know the name of the first one who funded the studio uh, and uh, when wo Miguel was the the chief uh, the chief one the chief executive uh, this funding company just used him and uh, used him to to get people into it and he did everyone and the founders program was good uh, you were just getting early access to it you are getting a lot of uh, things you would have to buy anyway when you were getting the game it was buy and play so that was good it was uh, it was all uh, developing the game now the company who funded them i don't know the name that uh, they used them got their money then kicked him out of course miguel didn't say he was uh, kicked out he said uh, oh, well i'm leaving i'm just leaving well, that's what he was going to say else he wouldn't uh, find a job uh, uh, in the industry after if he told the truth that they kicked him out and uh, took the founder's money and uh, the company behind it and left and then they had to find a new sponsor if they found uh, bandai namco i think this is a good company it developed uh, pretty good titles and they tried well they had to sell the game so they had to push it to make it viable not what they were designing to do and uh, release it so there comes nathan who came afterwards he tried he was trying to balance an asymmetrical game the wrong way the way to balance them is just make them what you how you want to make them make it and that's it that's the balance that's the player's plate i guess he wasted a lot of time on that but he also told the truth that he wasn't anymore going to make it open world because things changed 
So uh, on that regard, he didn't his job on balancing the game didn't went astray. He did a good job in how he rebalanced it. He changed the balance of uh, some something which could be different from what was uh, prior. So th that that was it. That's what happened with Terran Crusade. Uh, now Bandai Namco saved the title uh, as best as they could because they had to publish it. They couldn't just. Uh, it costs them much more than the initial company which sold to them, and uh, of course they couldn't. They needed to balance the. Um, they couldn't just throw even more money. They already threw a lo gave a lot, and they couldn't just be throwing tons of money into this product, which they needed it to work. Now, uh, Nathan was trying to. They kept developing it. They even added uh, mo they added more stuff. They added uh, even added some. Um, more stages to fight it, uh, I think around two more maps than uh, it had already when it was uh, officially released. But, you know, in the end of the day, all this th these little things can't save the big uh, issue. So sadly, that's what happened with Eternal Crusade. It was, uh, they used the good developers. Behavior was a very good developing team, both under Miguel and under Nathan, which sadly the backing, uh, the company they were, ob they were working for, the first one so sold them out and, well, they couldn't do anything. You can have, uh, you can't have it, both ways. Sadly, Eternal Crusade was sold out by... I don't know the name of the company who owned the studio, the first one. Uh, that, was, that was the whole thing with Eternal Crusade. They were uh, used to... Uh, The Behavior Studio was uh, used by the company that I am uh, saying the original one to in order to you know get the players and uh, get all this uh, at first working. Then they took the money with the founders program and then they just sell it to sell the studio to another company to get. Uh, that's what happened. This is it was a setup from the start. And since it was a setup from the start, the behavior studios didn't know about it, okay? Because I don't want to get misunderstood. Uh, behaviors, they didn't know of it. They just set them up and they were telling, the showing the, us to the players because I was a founder too. It was a gift from a friend I have. Uh, he gave me, he bought me early access to the game and uh, I played the, there to sincerely access. So, why did, did was this game developed badly? No, it was not. But as I said, if uh, your own uh, boss uh, fails you intentionally. Uh, I mean, not Miguel, uh, whoever was in charge of the other company. They used us, they used the players, with, and uh, then just sold us out. That's what happened, sadly. And of course, Miguel explained it. He said, well, life is life. Uh, he, he couldn't do anything because if he went and said the truth and told that my... Uh, I don't know the proper word, uh, so I'll just use... Uh, common words, my bosses on uh, the 
company which owns just just uh, owns the studio just got rid of me because uh, they had other plans they had they were planning to sell the consumer to, to betray the consumers now if he went and said that of course it would have been appreciated Uh, by the players, we we still appreciate him. He did he did what he could, okay. What he normally could. He, he's not a god. Just moves his hand and everything gets fixed. So, if he went and said that, he would never work at another company, maybe. Possibly he would uh, so he didn't say that it's that simple. That's why he didn't say it. He couldn't say it uh, There are some things you just don't do And this is what happened with eternal crusade it started well it was uh, being developed well and and well, that was the plan of the uh, of the of the company behind uh, who the company who owned the Behavior Studios. So they just couldn't do anything to themselves. They did what they could. Everything that they could have done, they did it. That's the if uh, Eternal Crusade was made properly properly as they were say as they were developing it originally it would have been a huge success and now let me tell you something about that asymmetrical balance like i said you can't balance it uh, you, you don't balance it with uh, traditional uh, way, uh, ways the way to do it is just to make it how you want it to be and then let the players play it that's that's what the players want as well which means, like I said, 15 space marines against 50 plus orcs around there, and even less orcs, 15 squad, or 15 space marine team, or a chaos space marine, we will be 15 as well. But they may come across five orcs around on the map, which was, it was going to be open world. Well, you can't balance that. That's something that is uh, going to happen anyway. What you balance is what you have in mind. The the on the major battles how it, it was supposed to be so so it was be le, it would be 15 space marines versus let's say 50 orcs and around uh, 25 Veldar somehow like this now the space marine to die from i will use as counter the regular bolter bolts not the pistol or any plasma gun uh, a space marine to die from bolter boards, I guess he would take around, uh, not the big shooters. I'm talking about bolters. Now, would he would take around uh, mm -hmm. 30 bullets to die. The orc would take about uh, 20, but of course, uh, I'm not talking about heavy bolter. Uh, rounds which fires a lot of uh, a lot of them uh, faster than uh, it fires faster than a regular bolter and 20 is a lot because these guys the, the regular boys I mean the, the regular orc boys not the not a knob for example and the elder would take around uh, 10 they are have they are squishy these guys Now, of course, when their armor was stripped with the Space Marine, they would take less bullets than prior. So, because of the regeneration, this uh, armor regeneration, which regenerates faster than the health, this is a bit, uh, you know, it gets more, it has more depth than just uh, shots. But this is ju just in, de in general. Now, from, let's uh, pick up so another, for comparison, some other weapons like. Uh, the elder w elder uh, weapon how it's, i don't remember how it's called uh, splinter rifle so that would take about uh, this to kill the space marine like uh, 
15 bullets to kill the orc uh, or 20 to kill the orc around uh, 10, 8 and the other, uh, another elder would take around to kill him uh, 5 because they, this, these weapons fire really strong now the Suta bolts I don't know, the Space Marine would take around uh, 50, 50 bullets or 80 to kill another orc My, I don't know, just a orc versus orc it's not about it, so because, but on the other hand, Space Marines, because of the house Space Marines, uh, that's why I took into, into comparison. And another, and an elder like uh, these guys die also fast, like 20, but these uh, the shooter fires fast uh, bullets, and the other are squishy, like I, I said. And the Tyranids, you know, this would have been AI, of course, they could also add some players controlling uh, if they choose to some warrior brutes and some lictors just for the fun they could play as lictor or uh, tyrannid warrior or raveners not all the raveners would be controlled by players but some would so that's a uh that's how it, the, the asymmetrical balance aspect would work, would be. Just make it how you think it, how you want it to be and that's it. The players will play the game. And it's for the fun because they know they are playing this game and this is made like that. Uh, it's, uh, this is asymmetrical. This is, uh, this is how they want it to be. And that's how it should be. It's not, it's not Call of Duty. If they want to play Call of Duty, they already have the option. Call of Duty. So that's with Eternal Crusade. Sad. It's a, it was a sad uh, rest in peace, Eternal Crusade. It was a sad uh, ending. I wouldn't call it a failure. Uh, it, I would call it a sad story. So this is it guys, this is uh, the topic I wanted to address. So thanks all for watching guys, be well and see you in the next cast.